Hello everyone, my name is Onoja Peter. I'll be taking you economics. Our focus in this very session is going to be on the definition of economics and some basic economic concepts. What is economics? There is no one universally accepted definition of economics. Some of the definitions are centered on wealth and material welfare. Others relate to scarcity and means. But the most acceptable definition of economics was that given by Lord Robbins because its detailed analysis reveals that it embraces the main fundamental problems in man's activities, that is scarcity of resources choices people make with regards to the use of scarce resources and exchange. Robbins defined economics as a science which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means which have alternative uses. Ends as used in the definition implies goods and services refined by man for his survival means as used in the definition also implies factors of production or productive factors which are land labor capital and entrepreneurship basic economic concepts there are basic terms in every field of study the understanding of which helps learners to better appreciate a subject or course of study, as these terms are often used in almost all topics of discussion in a given field of study. Some of these basic terms in economics are the concept of goods. Goods refers to all things that have value and satisfy human wants. Goods are classified into material and non-material goods. For example, things like cars, shoes, buildings, machines, etc., which can be seen, touched, and transferred from one place to another are material goods. While services provided by lawyers, doctors, teachers etc which can neither be seen nor touched are non-material goods the concept of want these are mere desires or demand for goods and services without the necessary payment backup for example a young man who desires or places a demand for a car but lacks the money to pay for it this concept of scarcity this means limited productive resources in relation to unlimited ones. That is, limited supply against demand. Scarcity is a fundamental problem of every society. For example, the demand for money is far above the supply of money. The concept of choice. This is the point at which a decision is made on a particular item goods or service choice has to do with selecting from among alternatives that is choosing an item from varieties of items choice is determined mostly by taste available resources and the situation of things at a particular point in time for example an individual who has to select between trousers and shirts and he goes for the shirts the selected items become his choice the concept of opportun opportunity cost it is an alternative for gone that is the sacrifice made in making a choice for example if an individual needs to choose between a phone and a laptop and he chooses the phone over the laptop the cost 
of the phone is the laptop that he has not chosen. The concept of scale of preference. This refers to a list of individual ones in order of their relative importance. For example, a student with a limited resources who wants play toys, new pairs of shoes, test books, etc. would definitely go for test books because of their importance to his or her studies. In summary, it is important to note that economics has no particular universally accepted definition, but the definition according to Lord Robbins is the most accepted one because it, it isn't just centered on material welfare and wealth, but takes into consideration human behavior and choices made by man given the scarcity of resources in order to survive. Also, the understanding of the concepts of goals, wants, choices, opportunity costs, etc. are key to the effective study of economics. Here is an assignment for you. The question says, why is Lord Robin's definition of economics the most accepted definition? Thank you for your time. See you in our subsequent sessions.